Legendary English journalist Sir Michael Parkinson, who is being remembered for his work on popular long-running talk show, Parkinson, which aired from 1971 to 2007. Michael died on the 16th of August, 2023. He died of natural causes at the age of 88. His career began as a journalist for the Daily Express and the BBC. 1968 was the year he hosted his first talk show, The Michael Parkinson Show. Parkinson's chat show was hugely successful, and he interviewed some of the biggest stars in the world, including Muhammad Ali, Frank Sinatra, and Margaret Thatcher. Despite retiring from his chat show in 2007, Parkinson continued to work in broadcasting. If we talk about Michael Love Life, he was married to journalist Mary Parkinson since 1959. American Hall of Fame music executive and film producer Clarence Avant, who was a legendary singer best known for his popular songs such as Save the Children and Jason's Lyric. He passed away on the 13th of August, 2023, 20 months earlier. An intruder shot and killed his wife, Jacqueline, in their Beverly Hills home. Avant, who was born on the 25th of February, 1931, until the 8th grade, he attended a one-room school in Greensboro, North Carolina. His career in the music industry began as a manager. Avant helped to launch the careers of many successful African-American artists, including Bill Withers, Whitney Houston, and Quincy Jones. He was a role model for many aspiring musicians and entrepreneurs. Aside from his work in music, Avant also produced films. As a producer, he contributed to films including Black Caesar, 1973, and The Wiz, 1978. He was also the promoter of Michael Jackson's Bad Tour in 1987. In addition, he supported the political careers of Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama, as well as Jim Brown, the football player, who became an actor. The survived family of Avant includes his daughter, Nicole Avant, who is a former U.S. ambassador to the Bahamas and the wife of Netflix's chief content officer and his son, Alexander Avant. American football player Alex Collins, who played as a running back in the National Football League, NFL, who played for teams like Seattle Seahawks, Baltimore Ravens, and Memphis Showboats. Alex died on the 13th of August, 2023. He died in a traffic collision at the age of 28. He was born in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, on August 26, 1994. While playing college football at the University of Arkansas, he gained recognition for his impressive skills as a running back. During his college career, he set records and earned accolades for his rushing abilities. Collins was selected by the Seattle Seahawks in the fifth round of the 2016 NFL Draft. During his rookie season as a Seahawk, he was promising as a runner. He played for the team for one season before moving on to the Ravens for two years. After a year off, he came back to Seattle for two more seasons. Collin played 25 games for both the Ravens and Seahawks between 2016 and 2021, scoring 19 touchdowns. Collins most recently played in the USFL with the Memphis Showboats this spring. The injury cut short his season, and he was placed on injured reserve in May. Ben Terry, who was known for his friendly and informative weather forecast, best known for his work on KPLC-TV, Ben died on the 13th of August, 2023. He died of colon cancer at the age of 40. In 2021, he received a colon cancer diagnosis. He had chemotherapy and surgery. He fought cancer for the whole of his employment at KPLC-TV. In 2007, he began his career as a meteorologist at KPLC. Ben was a brilliant meteorologist and an even better human being. He will be remembered for his kindness, his dedication to his work, and his passion for weather forecasting through hurricanes, floods, ice storms, sunshine, and even an occasional snowfall. Ben kept his neighbors up to date about the weather throughout hundreds of broadcasts over the years on KPLC.
He received the National Weather Service's Special Achievement Award for his reporting on Hurricane Laura. As he shared many details of his treatments with the public during his journey since his diagnosis nearly three years ago, which help a lot of people fighting the same disease, American model and actress Shelley Smith, who started her career appearing on many magazines, covers in the 1970s and early 1980s, and also work on TV shows such as The Associates and For Love and Honor. Shelley died on August 8th at Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital after suffering a heart arrest a few days before. Shelley rose to prominence as a model in the 1970s, appearing in Vogue, Mademoiselle, and Glamour, as well as on the cover of Harper's Bazaar. Smith made her acting debut in the ABC sitcom The Associates in 1979. She played the role of Laura Kelly, a sharp upper-class Boston attorney working at a Wall Street law firm. The show lasted for two seasons. Smith was a brilliant and versatile performer who left a lasting impact on the entertainment business. She will be remembered for her beauty, grace, and dedication to others. Oscar winner American film director William Friedkin, who is being remembered for his work on popular movies such as The French Connection, The Exorcist, and To Live and Die in L.A. William died of heart failure and pneumonia on the 7th of August, 2023. He died at the age of 87. Friedkin also directed The French Connection, 1971, a crime thriller that won five Academy Awards, including Best Director and Best Picture. This film is known for its realistic portrayal of police work and its intense car chase sequence. A few of Friedkin's other films include Sorcerer, 1977, To Live and Die in Los Angeles, and Cruising. He helped define the new Hollywood movement of the 1970s, and his films continue to be enjoyed worldwide. German actress Margit Saad, who is being remembered for her work on popular movies such as Three Birch Trees on the Heath, The Criminal, and The Magnificent Two Margit, passed away on the 7th of August, 2023. She died of natural causes at the age of 94. She starred in the British drama film The Criminal and appeared in other British films and television programs such as The Rebel, Playback, and The Magnificent Two Margit, was an actress who worked in both German and English films and television shows. Oscar winner American film editor Arthur Schmidt, who is being remembered for his work on popular movies such as Back to the Future, who framed Roger Rabbit, and Forrest Gump Arthur passed away on the 5th of August, 2023. He died at the age of 86. No cause of death is revealed, yet he worked on over 27 films between 1977 and 2005. Schmidt was born in 1937 in Los Angeles, California. He started off as an assistant editor on the film Little Big Man. Schmidt edited Zemeckis' Back to the Future, a critical and commercial hit in 1985. For his efforts on the picture, he received the Academy Award for Best Picture Editing. He was a two-time Academy Award winner and one of the most respected film editors in Hollywood.